Hey, welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to watch this cool video about some Tamil Brahmin food from Bengaluru. And it's going to be real interesting. You know, I, I don't think I've covered too much South Indian food and I've never even had real good South Indian food. I, I don't know if I've ever had South Indian food. So yeah, I'm pretty unfamiliar with it, but we're going to learn today. All right, let's watch. Of Maleshwaram, a very busy part of... Hi folks, we are in a small bylane of Maleshwaram, a very busy part of Bengaluru and we are here to lunch at a very interesting eatery. And this one is called Ayar Mess and they serve Tamil Brahmin food. Homely meal. Mm. Uh, I bet that smells phenomenal. Hugely popular in this area, Ayur Mess, I'm told, began in 1959. So it's an establishment that's over 60 years old. Wow. It's set in a small home, so it's in a very humble, modest setting. But hugely popular with locals out here. I'm told it gets extremely crowded for lunch. So although it's a bit of a search to find the establishment, and we are... <laughs> that guy was so it, suspicious. Bit, I'm told the food here makes that effort worth it. So let's go in and check out what a traditional Tamil Brahmin meal at Ayer Mesh is all about. Oh. Banana leaves. That's such an interesting that way to serve food. I hear mess for a long time. I can see an article that goes back all the way to 1997. So you know, wow. this is a place that has stood the test of time. I can already see that some diners are in the middle of lunch and I can already smell the aroma. So I can hungry. smell the aroma of all the great food that's going to be served on the banana leaf. There's nothing like eating on a banana leaf. Really? Why? Namaskara. How are you? Namaskara. So I'm here with Mr. and Mrs. Venkatesh and Kamla here. It was your father who started this? Yeah, okay. 1959. So what makes Ayer Mess so popular? Standard. Taste. Genuine. Genuine. Yeah. Typical South Indian meal. Typical South Indian meal. Tamil Nadu and Kerala. So it's a combination of Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Interesting. Okay. okay. Cool. Who cooks the food here? Okay. <laughs> Training from his father. All right, and you learned all That's the recipes. That's so cool. It literally so is like a family restaurant. Kitchen? Take a look. A home restaurant. So we're in the kitchens of Ayer Mess, and this is where all the food gets prepared. It's a small kitchen, but you can see all these pots that are that have all sorts of deliciousness cooking in them. I'm uh. here with Mrs. Kamla here, who's going to tell us a little bit about the kitchen here. We started cooking morning 5 o'clock. Morning 5 o'clock. And with 8.30. In morning? Oh. Okay, so 5 o'clock you start cooking. And this is for lunch? Daily, daily sambar, rasam. Okay. Daily food, daily rasam. Okay. Daily chapati. So daily menu change? It takes three and a half daily hours to cook change. for the day? Daily sambar Interesting. change. Sundays on the more kurambu, the paisam. Okay. The color rice, next one. Sunday special? Sunday special. So the menu changes every day, but on a Sunday they have something special. So they have a paisam, they have a more kalambu. Mixed rice. And one mixed rice. So Sundays is special. We are here on a Tuesday, so we won't have all of that delicious food that is typically is served on a Sunday. So cabbage palya. Okay, so this is the radish sambar that's being cooked today. And there is the pumpkin sabji that is right there. And the rice. Pumpkin. Oh, what rice yeah. do you use? Sona, sona. sona masuri rice. So how many people do you feed here every day? 150-200. For lunch? Or and dinner? Dinner 50. 50. Wow. This is cold stuff. Ah, okay. And what do you cook on the cold stuff? Cold rasam. Rasam. Oh, milk also. But why do you cook on cold oh taste, Nalayarka? Uh, so, why do people come here for so many years? Ah, okay. 
So I've told that the people come here and they've been coming here over the years and they come here largely because of taste and the food is very homey. That's it's cooked like somebody would cook for you at a home. There are no additives, there is no soda, nothing. Food that's cooked with a lot of love and food cooked with good ingredients has to result in a beautiful meal. Mm. So let's go on to the table and check out the vegetarian meal here at Ayer Miss. <laughs> keep saying this over and over again but there's always something special about eating off a banana is he putting water on it what is that this is the the course of alia so out here at ayer mess you basically sit down you have a banana leaf that's placed in front of you and the food comes oh you just sit down and they just there's no time for formalities the food comes in and you just start eating you get what you get and this is the <laughs> Pumpkin, sweet pumpkin kutu, the sweet kumle kai kutu that you have here. There's some farad vada and you have the chapati. That's a big mound of rice. And of course the papad. Papad. Lemon pickle. Lemon pickle. So there you have it, the banana leaf is complete. Wow. I've got the curd. What's interesting is that the milk for this curd is cooked on a coal stove. As I was told by Mrs. Kamala Ayer, that the flavor that comes out from the milk and therefore the curd is very unique. So I'm going to taste that later. I'm milk begin cooked on with a coal stove. That's very interesting. And the vegetable. I haven't had breakfast yet. This is torture. It's a delicious sweet pumpkin kutu. There's a bit of spice that you get, but it's a mellow sort of a spice. Mm, a that's what I would go for first too. Sweet pumpkin right here. Mm. Mm. This sort of vegetable that your mom would cook for you. You know, that's the kind of flavor <laughs> that you have. It's very home style. Is there any simple, type of vegetable that your mom wouldn't tasty. cook for you? You know, it's so simple, yet so tasty. All that I taste is the cabbage, and the cabbage is cooked just fine. You still have the crunch of the vegetable. It's not cooked to a mush. You have some coconut. You have a bit of the seasoning that you taste, and that's pretty much what you taste. You taste the wholesomeness of the ingredients that have gone into it. I'm always partial to wow. a good vada. I don't, and who is it? I'm not familiar with like any of these things. I need to learn more about South Indian food. My knowledge is severely lacking. You got a crunch, you've got the <coughs> the wholesomeness of the lentils, and you've got that chili kick that you get in this paripu vada. Yeah. Here's a bit of the pickle. Warning, do not eat while hungry. Or do not watch. Do not watch while hungry. The bitterness that comes from the lemon. Mm. I think I'm going to have some of the cabbage this guy has before a good job. I call for the sambar. Mm. So good. You know, this is the sort of food I think that most people crave for. You're in the middle of work, in the middle of your day, and you just want that meal that takes you back home. Mm. I think that's what a meal at Ayer Mess is all about. And this is the perfect chapati, soft and light. Yum. Wow. <laughs> take some of that cabbage, take some of the pumpkin gravy. A bit of a mishmash, but I think yeah. it's gonna be can't go wrong. Tasty. Just mix it all together. So good. That's a copious mound of rice. Just gonna keep a bit of it ready for the sambar. Oh, they come back with more. Oh, this is hot. This. Is Radish sambar or mulangi sambar, the sambar for the day. I'm told the sambar here keeps changing every day. And today it's the mulangi sambar. This is hot or suda. Suda air ka Spicy hot? Tamilians would say. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. 
the sambar has a bit of a spicy kick to it, a bit of a fiery kick to it from the chili. Wow. Oh, that looks so and good. This is a bit of a cold and this is just the perfect fix to that. Mm. So tasty. Have a bit of the... Ooh, it's bottom. crunchy. Is mix it like a chip kind of? Mix that into like the chip. rice. <laughs> chip. Could it be compared to a chip? Mm. Like a big chip. I'm actually daydreaming right now. My mind is you know, all drifting. Around, there's a bit of chaos. There's people moving in, people moving out. The food is great, but the service can be a bit disorganized. So when you come here, be prepared for great food, of course, but a bit of a wait at times. <laughs> They did give a really generous serving of rice, didn't they? Huh. Especially in Indian preparations, most of the vegetables are cooked to a mush, but not here at IMS. It's cooked just the way somebody would cook for you at home. Yummy. When I finished my rice with sambar, I'm going to portion a bit of the rice for the rasam that follows the sambar. They just keep feeding you? Rice and rasam. Wow. They just keep going. Wow. No, after the spicy... That's a really big meal, sambar, which is really rasam impressive for... a bit mellow. I don't know I if the pricing is average or, or what, but I would imagine it's probably about average. Give it that slight There's a lot of people there, probably punch. stopping there for lunch. Mm. Mm. The pickle is hot, spicy, and it has that bitter edge of the lemon. This whole video is just watching this guy eat. <laughs> it has just uh. lifted the rice and rasam, which was otherwise a little little too bland for my taste and especially because it followed that spicy radish sambar. It's the same shot over and over again of him just shoveling rice into his time mouth. I've, I've almost polished off an entire banana leaf meal but the food is so good. Mm. And at 70 rupees for a home cooked meal, I think Iyer Mess offers great value. After partaking of the spicy sambar and rasam, it was now time to end my meal with the tair sadam or curd rice. I bet that's good. I bet that's real good. The curd is thick and creamy. And a bit of pickle. Just to give it that spicy kick. So good. This is the sort of food that all of us yearn for. It's food that's cooked with a lot of love. It's food that's cooked with a lot of care. There are so many eateries, there's so many restaurants where you get a lot of food, you get a lot of variety. But in most places, you don't get food that's cooked like it's cooked at home. You don't get True. food that's cooked with love. And that's really what a meal at Iyer Mess is mm, all about. Absolutely. So the next time you're in Bengaluru and in Maleswaram, check out lunch at Iyer Mess. And I promise you, you won't be disappointed. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share food and leave a TV. comment. Yeah. Do subscribe and stay tuned to Food Lovers TV awesome. for really more cool episodes stuff. from Gourmet on the Road. Happy eating. Cool. Yeah, Food Lovers TV, this is the first video I've seen from them, but I actually really enjoyed it, even though it was just watching this guy basically eat for 13 minutes. <laughs> and like I said, I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm starving. But definitely, oh my gosh, the amount of detail he goes into for this video, or he went into for this video, rather, is just, it's great. And you really get an idea of the food. It's not just like, oh, this was delicious. It tastes blah, blah, blah. He talks about uh, what goes into it, the flavors, the owners, the, the cooks. It's so cool. I thought that was neat. A totally different experience. I, I'm, I'm gonna be just totally honest here. The 
uh, like eating in India with the banana leaves and just eating with your hands is totally, totally, totally different than here in the United States. And it's definitely an adjustment. I imagine when I visit India, I'm going to have to adjust to it. But it'll happen, of course. I'm quite adaptable. But whew, watching people do it, it kind of makes me nervous. <laughs> and this isn't meant to offend anyone. It's just that, you know, I'm from the West and I grew up eating with forks and spoons. And if you get food on your hands, like eating with your hands here is so rude. It's horribly rude. <laughs> And you will never be served on anything other than like a paper plate or a ceramic plate or a bowl. So it's very, very, very different. And I can really appreciate the differences. It's just that it takes a lot of adjustment. And I'm sure if a native Indian person were to come to the U.S. and be forced to eat with, uh, you know, a spoon and a fork and a knife on a plate, it would be an adjustment for them too. It's just different. It's totally different. And it's so cool. But this food looks fantastic. I'll have to go check out more stuff from Food Lovers TV. Their videos are really cool, really detailed. And if you've ever been to Ayer Mess, please comment below what your opinion was, what your experience was. I would love to hear it. I just love hearing real life stories from you guys. So thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you later. And go follow me on Instagram. Vote for me in the Maxim competition, all sorts of stuff. I literally never know how to end these videos, but thank you. Thank you. Bye.